In this episode, we will look at how cost metering works for the Nutanix on-prem infrastructure. Cost visibility is made available for clusters, uh, VMs, and VM snapshots at a daily and monthly granularity. This is made available with the help of a comprehensive industry standard total cost of ownership model at a cluster level, which is also configurable. Once the individual resource costs are metered, they are then available to create custom reports specific to business units and cost centers for financial reporting, as well as helps in identifying the overall costs of scopes like a VDI application or a test environment. The focus of this video is to help you understand how the cost metering logic works. In an on-prem infrastructure, the end user services like virtual machines are provided by the central IT department. Hence, the cost of service delivered on-prem is the license cost of software used to set up the cluster, the virtual cluster infrastructure cost, and the TCO overhead like power cooling administration, etc. We have a three-step process to get the service level costing. The step one helps calculate the overall cluster cost by identifying the hardware and software usage and using the purchase history. Step two distributes the cluster cost on a daily basis to resources within the cluster. And step three groups the resources on the basis of services and subservices like virtual machines and snapshots. Here are the cost heads, which defines the total cost of ownership of the cluster on a monthly basis. Uh, the hardware cost is being calculated with the help of uh, the NX or any OEM hardwares that are there in uh, the cluster. Uh, software costs includes any Nutanix Acropolis licenses on, and other costs. The monthly amortized cluster cost is then converted to a daily amortized cost. The daily amortized cost is then split between cost of physical core, physical memory, and physical storage based on the cluster's configuration. This physical cost is then distributed to the virtual core, memory, and storage based on the individual VM or resource configuration. There are two kinds of models for the physical to virtual cost distribution or allocation. Model one is a zero-sum cost distribution model, which splits the cost of physical capacity, be it cores, memory, or storage, to provision virtual capacity on an actual basis. This model works for IT teams who wish to charge their end-user VMs for their usage, as well as cost of waste from unused cluster infrastructure. This is called as the actual virtual capacity model. Model two does cost distribution of physical capacity to provision virtual capacity based on overcommit or usable virtual capacity. This model works for IT teams who wish to charge their end user VMs for their actual usage using a predictable rate based on the expected virtual capacity. This model is called as the target virtual capacity model. Now let us look at how to get the spend visibility for the clusters and VMs in Beam. This is the dashboard view for a Nutanix on-prem infrastructure. Let us navigate to um, analyze and VM costing. In the VM costing, we can view the TCO of all the clusters which are onboarded. The cluster's TCO configuration can be done by going to configure Nutanix. And within clusters, on edit, users can configure the costs under the six different cost buckets, uh, which are hardware, software, facilities, telecom services, and people. Once we have the cluster TCO configured, we can then view details at the VM level. This cluster has been configured with the target virtual capacity model. Hence, we can look at the cost of unprovisioned virtual capacity along with the cost of individual VMs. If we drill down at the VM level, we could look at the cost on a daily basis. For VMs, there is also a consideration of the state of the VM. 
if the vm is powered on then cost allocation is done to um, all vcpu memory and storage capacity if the vm state is off then cost of the cluster gets allocated only to the storage capacity of the vm we can also download a report in xls format the report provides the cost of all vms and vm snapshots that are part of the cluster stay tuned for more episodes on how to keep your it operations efficient